So we're going to be seeing a lot of talent tonight. We're hoping to see some really hype matches. We're going into it with Palutena versus Zelda. Yeah, so... Okay, so everyone knows about Palutena, the Nair Machine, but we haven't heard much about Zelda. What are your thoughts on her? All right, so um, mm -hmm. Zelda, her she she basically has two types of neutral. Uh, she has her own neutral, and then she has the neutral that um, that the Guardian gives her. Basically, um, basically what what Zelda wants to do is, in, in from what I've seen, is set up set up herself so that she has good distance with with the knight. Uh, set it up. Make sure that she doesn't get punished for pulling out because Knight has a lot of lag after sure. she throws it out. Uh, but she can she can like charge it all the way to full, then wait for it to start charging, and in that time she can combo into the Knight or she can kill with Knight. It really depends on the Zelda player. A lot of Zelda players just like having it out, so it's pressure tool, so people are forced to jump. That way they'll catch him with Nair, catch him with up air, catch him with the aerials that Zelda has. Zelda has really hard hitting and very quick aerials to boot. And here we go. We're gonna start the match immediately. So a lot of memes about you know Zelda using the neutral special. It's just how good it is, how fast it comes out with the invuln frames at the start. But as you're talking about all about the Zelda, the Palutena, how will this matchup look like? Um, so in this matchup, as long as the Palutena continues to bait out. Uh, unsafe options from Zelda because a lot, like quite a, quite a bit of her options have a bit of lag. Right? Yes, we saw right there. Yeah, yeah. Nehru's love, uh, which is her neutral B, has a lot of end lag. Even though it has invincibility at the start, mm -hmm. she yeah right yeah, there. Yeah, right there. Saw it again. Yeah, just Tyrant with the grab there, just opting to go for the dash attack instead. He's using the intin uh, intangibility of the shield to make sure that if he whiffs it, he's not going to get really punished for it mm -hmm. uh, by the hitbox of Nehru's love yeah. and. Harley Quinn seems to like this um, using Ferrara's win, and she gets punished for trying to land a little mm -hmm. bit too aggressively with Lightning Foot there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a bit of uh, teleports that I'm seeing right now. And here comes the Nair train that we're talking about that's coming from Palutena. So this is looking pretty good right now. Palutena's being a little more defensive. Uh, I, I'm starting to notice that. but And also using uh, explosive, explosive flare. Quite a bit. Is explosive flame or explosive flame? Uh, explosive flame. Explosive flame, okay. So here we go, and another whiff. Oh, recovery. So already a three stock lead for this Palutena. This is looking really good, and especially only at 66%. And you're talking about how she needs to do the ledge traps with the knight, but we're not seeing it um, just yet. So we haven't seen too many night, night uses from Harley Quinn. She seems to love Nehru's uh, love a lot. Also, there. seems to love her smash, uh, up smash a bit. Mm -hmm. um, Tyrant, uh, you were. Referencing Tyrant's uh, defensive play uh, this whole game. Yeah. Well, that's because Harley Quinn has been throwing out uh, attacks. And oh, yeah. good. Yeah. So Harley Quinn has been throwing out attacks. Has been uh, has been throwing out hitboxes all the time. So what Tyrant all Tyrant needed to do is just wait for the end lag of those moves. Sure. Wait and whiff punish it. And again, I told you uh, before, like Zelda has some laggy moves on mm -hmm. her, right? And it just so happened most of the things that she she uh, Harley out, Quinn yeah. used were laggy. And Tyrant, knowing this, and already just analyzing, just from the first few seconds of the game, knew just, all right, I'm just going to just wait it out, just make sure that uh, I don't really take too much percentage off of this. Mm -hmm. If I take percentage, oh well. Uh, all I need to do is play neutral, hold center stage, continue to pressure her because she's starting to crack down. Yeah, and it worked out in the end. Got a really dominant three stock, was able to control the match really well. And um, just realized we have the double Joy-Con. Is that a control? Is that legal? Is that yeah, still legal? Oh, yeah. any, anything is legal, um, except a few controllers. The double Joy-Con isn't one of them. Um, I think it's third-party controllers. Isn't it the wire, wireless uh, wireless pros illegal? I, I have no idea which one it is, but there are banned controllers that we have in the rule set. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm not sure what it is. I'm pretty sure it's thir uh, some third-party controllers. I think it's the one where the pro controller, if you don't have the, the cable to connect it directly, because it can so cause some issues with other no, setups. No, because no. all, all, all pro controllers are like that. So That's true, I get it. Yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't really affect it too, too much. Uh, my water bottle stuck oh, to the I table. I forgot. <laughs> right, I right. forgot it has a suction That's underneath it. That's pretty good. It won't fall over. But moving on to game number two, back onto Pokemon Stadium two. Yeah, um, tried and true. Yeah. Is it a is it a good stage for Zelda? Uh, for Zelda, it's a big stage. She has a lot of room to work with, a lot of room to set up her knight. Again, she has also quite a bit of room to 
if she wants to use Din's fire, mm -hmm. but she hasn't set up the situation where she needs to set uh, uh, where she would like to use Din's fire. Yeah, and she's uh, we have to see the Joker pick, obviously. So Joker's a character that everyone has been talking about ever since MKO got the very dominant win at the tournament that he was at. So Joker versus Zelda definitely seems in the favor of Joker. Just how many tools that Joker has that really I, I don't know, and also from the performance that I've seen last time, but. Uh, Let's talk. Let's talk about Joker. So, what do you think of him as a, as a character? Uh, all right. So, Joker as a character loses the swords quite a bit. Um, mm -hmm. There are a few swords that he can beat or go even. Uh, that that can beat him or can go even with him. Mm -hmm. um, Lucina is definitely one that comes onto the yeah. table. Yeah. Uh, Lucina, Marth, Krom, uh, the really top tier swordsmen uh -huh. uh, have uh, like I feel have a good a really good matchup spread. Uh, so if you're fighting a Joker, one of the things you want to do is make sure you have a Swordsman in tow. And uh, a Joker in general, uh, oh. a lot of good normals. Uh, his aerials, uh, back air, one of his best things, uh, uses his dagger instead of using his whole body. Uh -huh. like With, uh, with his legs, with yeah, fair. With, with fair, with up air. He also has... Uh, yeah, he has quite a bit of modifiers, especially with Arsene on. Um, a, a lot of things he can do uh, just flow into each other. Basically, that that's basically how Persona Five itself in the game is. Mm -hmm. So it, it makes sense for Joker to be able to do what he does. And in this also, game. he's got great mobility. His model can be a little difficult to hit sometimes, and his recovery—it's um, it, one of the best in the game. I would argue. Um, when it's Arsene. When it's Arsene, yeah. When it's Arsene, definitely one of the best in the game. Well, with Grappling Hook, it's very exploitable, but... It's still strong. It's a still strong recovery tool. Yes. But uh, speaking of, we're talking a lot about Joker, but Harley Quinn uh, not doing too well in this matchup right now. We're seeing uh, a two, was it two whiffed it and into the F smash. Remember, uh, Nairu's love only gets info frames at the start. So once yeah. it starts rolling a little bit, you won't get it. So out spaced out, very dominant win, 2-0. Oh. Yeah, and... Again, Harley Quinn needed to slow down the pace of the game. Yeah. She wasn't doing that for herself. She was trying to throw out too many hitboxes, and on top of that, she wasn't baiting out uh, Joker's mm -hmm. Rebels Guard. And Tyrant just used that because he knew. He knew she was going to throw something yeah. out. She knew she, he knew she was going to throw something out no matter what he had, if he had Arsene or if he didn't. That's why he was able to get so mm -hmm. many Mech Makara Karns, Tetra Karns, and uh, Rebels Guards out. He was able to ke basically have a really good Arsene uptime the whole time, uh, the whole the whole game he played with Joker, he was able to exploit the fact that she didn't really know how to get around.